Semi-final number two is underway. Fourth and two. It's already seven on the BG fam hopping right into the action. Jackson looking at the curl route. Oh, it's caught in tight coverage. Joke with a huge conversion. So Joke running this Lamar Jackson spread right now. We saw him earlier. Didn't quite look as efficient. Looked like a brand new offense. Obviously, it is here for Joke. Um, I, I have to keep wondering if he's running this just because he's got club series coming up and he's just trying to give something different. Here's that draw, though. You got to watch out for Lamar Jackson here on this carry. All the uh, dots of the bunch, but you get the draw from the quarterback with this empty set. 7 nothing BG fam on top, guys. Welcome on back. It is Friday Night Football number 36, presented by Mudhead, sponsored by our friends over at Rocket Mortgage. Big shout out to Rocket Mortgage for coming on board to the Mudhead family. Uh, they always say home is so much uh, more than just a house. It's your personal luxury box. And by making the complex simple, Rocket Mortgage has built a mortgage experience centered around you, personalized and convenient, so you can spend more time scouting the competition and making your house a home. Rocket Mortgage. Push button, get mortgage, NMLS ID number 3030. 30. Big shout out to Rocket Mortgage for making Friday Night Football possible. We got ourselves a great semifinal game here, Zan. The winner of this gets to take on that Rage offense, that uh, really more that Rage defense that played so well against Canes. Uh, and these are two guys who, uh, BG fam, very impressive so far. Joke, doing what Joke normally does in Friday Night Football, winning games and taking names. Yeah, it's almost like ho hum, old hat. You know, this is just standard joke. If he doesn't make a final four, like you're you're actually shocked if he doesn't make a run this deep. So uh to see him in a, a final four is definitely not a surprise. On the other side, you got BG fam, who I definitely would not have picked him to make our final four tonight. I was watching him on stream just the other night, and he was saying that <laughs> you know how Madden players get. You get emotional after you have a bad run of Madden. He was like, Man, I think I'm done for the year, is what he said on stream just yesterday. And here he is in our yeah. final four. So, you know, Madden giveth, Madden taketh. Uh, he's played great defense, though. He's controlled the ball. He's kept people off balance in that Oakland Raiders strong close. He's been throwing the ball with a, a wide receiver at fullback. He's looked really good tonight. And he looks pretty good on defense right now, early against Joke, anyways. 39 for a joke with Lamar Jackson at the helm. Minute 36 and counting in the first quarter. And on third down, he's dropping back to pass. Waiting, looking. Uh, good defense. It's, nobody's there. And the pocket collapses that deep drop back. As uh, he is sacked and is going to face a fourth and 20. As he was waiting for somebody to get open. Just nobody there. they will be forced to punt this one away. And, and Zan, how crazy is this? If Joke is able to defeat BG Fam, which right now BG Fam with the 7-0 lead, uh, he will, and he wins the championship. It'll be his fourth Friday Night Football title just in Madden 20. I don't think there's any debating right now that Joke is the best player in the community or has been the most consistent player from start to now in the community at this point. Um, one thing that I noticed with Joke in Friday Night Football that a lot of players don't do is he tweaks his lineup incessantly. Last game, no escape artist. This game, using it. So, uh, you know, from opponent to opponent, he has a game plan and he executes every single time. Um, you know, right now with that escape artist, you have to wonder – uh, does he have enough? You saw him not get off, you know, not get that score to answer BG fam, uh, relying a little bit heavy on Lamar. If that becomes a theme, this could be troublesome because uh, it looks like BG fam has an answer for that Panther heavy at least. Second down and nine for BG fam. Hands off Lamar, or excuse me, Bo Jackson, the other Jackson that everyone talks about, but not a whole lot there. Now a third and 12, and Joe could get right back on the horse with a defensive stop here. Ross Boss in the chat says, you must have all forgotten about Henry. Uh, you know, I, I'm guilty of uh, not thinking about him just because our age limit for Friday Night Football is 18 as opposed to MCS being 16. Um, but that's no disrespect intended his way. He has played incredible Madden this year. Um, you know, people who are in tune with competitive Madden, zero disrespect. Henry is definitely one of the best players this year. Um, of course, you know, out there, at the Madden Classic had an amazing showing. Yeah, what a performance for his first live event. Oh, I mean, I truly believe that's a star in the making, but you got to follow that up. Um, and we'll see what he can do on third and 12. BG Fam looks over the middle. Diving play, Donald Driver. Boy, you, you got to wonder how it feels for Packers fans, Zan, seeing Aaron Rodgers and Donald Driver in Bears jerseys. That Donald Driver is really good on all Madden because he meets route thresholds to give him unbumpable releases, to give him extra cuts on routes that give him separation against man. Really good item. Not as good on the all pro side for your weekend league style teams, but huge in salary cap all Madden. 
Look at the dice in the chat. Everybody wants that Dion Sanders card. We'll roll that in a little bit. As a second 11 for PG fam. Up by seven with the ball. Cooper in motion from right side to left side. Bo Jackson in the backfield. He gets the carry. Oh, man. I It looked like if he goes right, he might have had a chance. Instead, he stays inside. He is stuffed in another third and ten. Yep. Once again, I mean, you see how some of these safeties in center field, you see actually doesn't even look like Jokes running Enforcer right now. He's running Harrison Slay. Slay. So you might as well go for the contact. Initiate some contact with Darius Slay if you got Bo Jackson. You know, if that's Tillman with the Enforcer, yeah, maybe not. But I think you got to go for it as opposed to, you know, peeking behind those offensive linemen as if that was Jamal Adams or Pat Tillman. And Cooper underneath cuts to a fourth and five. Guys, we're going to roll that Deion Sanders right now. Remember, here it is, 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 man, 90s zone. He is so good. You're going to want him on your team. All you got to be active in the chat, following the channel, and a positive force for good as fourth and five. BG fam making the choice to punt the ball away. Zan, an interesting choice. Usually when you get into those fourth and mid-range, you see a lot of guys go for it. BG fam trusting his defense. Yeah, I think it looked good enough on that first drive that you're not willing to concede it, you know, a minimum of three points by not picking up a first down. Go ahead and flip field position and see if Joe can put together a drive, especially in a secondary offense like he's in right now. First and 10 for uh, Joke and this offense. Jackson right up the middle. He'll pick up a couple. I, Zan, I, I just read an interesting article on ESPN, which is a, a rarity because I don't really particularly like ESPN's writing at this point, but NFL coaches have failed on 20 of the past 21 challenges for pass interference this season. That's interesting. I, I'm actually glad to hear that because my biggest fear was that this rule was going to be used in such a, uh, uh -oh. as we have uh, a touchdown uh, uh, here. Uh-oh. Uh no, no pass interference needed when Lamar Jackson just goes right up oh, the he's middle. Gonna he's going to be taken down to the 16 yard line. On one level, I get that, that fear on another level. At that point, why have it? Uh, I mean, I, I listen. I've watched a lot of these ones that didn't get overturned, and a lot of them I went. At, I listen. I know pass interference when I see it, sees it, and that's it. And it didn't get overturned. To me, it feels like it's a lot of refs not wanting to over. I mean, again, it, they sent it up to uh, what is it, Al Rivera, on the the senior uh, head of officiating. It seems like there's this this idea of they don't want to overturn it because pass interference is a judgment call, and you don't want to overturn those judgment calls. Whereas replay has been used to overturn straight up. Like, hey, if you're out of bounds, you're out of bounds. It, it just if that's going to be the case. Why have the ability to challenge it? Yeah, I think you have a fair point. I, I would actually argue that <laughs> why pass interference? Let's let's review roughing the passer. I've seen so many oh terrible roughing the passer the calls this oh. year. Like I'd rather Clay see Matthews them is going, hey, hey, how about me, Jackson, into the end zone, <laughs> right side, lots of speed. Joe, get extra point away from trying this up. Clay Matthews just going, yeah, can we review roughing the passer, uh, please? Uh, I mean, as a Bears fan, my team is three and two right now, and they could just as easily be two and three if not for honestly a pretty oh. terrible roughing the passer call on Bradley Chubb. I watched the the Broncos lose two home games in a row early in the year. I mean, what were they thirty three and three entering this season in the first month of the year at home, and they lose two games in a row to game winning field goals on drives extended by roughing the passer uh, that weren't really roughing the passer. So, uh, you know. I, might as well review those while we're at it. Uh, by the way, big shout out, Dabber24. You got yourself that Deion Sanders primetime card. Check your whispers. Make sure you respond. Be coming from Mudhead TV. Make sure you respond and claim it. Um, yeah, I just, I uh, every time I've seen a challenge, like there have been a couple I've been like, well, that's a touchy call. There's no way that's getting overturned. But there have been a couple that I went, oh, that is uh, certainly a pass interference. And then it doesn't get overturned. And it just feels too much like, it's to me, it's starting to feel like NFL referees are a lot like old school major league baseball umpires. You know, if you if you look at them the wrong way as you walk out of the box, they feel like you're showing them <laughs> up and they throw you out. Like, how about, yeah, how about you a little, uh, little Joe, Joe West, CB Buckner, Joe, Angel Hernandez? Joe, <laughs> I'm not naming names, yep. Joe, Bob Davidson when he was still an ump. Yeah, Laz Diaz has got that in him. Yeah, there's there's a lot. I, I I get what you're saying though. That's tough because you get referees that don't want to overturn their calls and admit they were wrong. But at the end of the day, replay systems are used to get the call right. So let's go ahead and get the call right. And you know, if that's what it's for, otherwise get rid of it. That's how I've always hey. felt. Oh, Bo Jackson's got blocking on the left side. 
winding, weaving, stopping. Oh. Okay, well, that, was, that wasn't the greatest thing. Uh, but then you got to give credit to some of the other umpires. Like, Angel Hernandez is wrong all the time, and it just accepts it at this point. He's like, I probably got that one wrong. Let's go review it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's rough. I mean, these judgment calls can be really, really tough. Um, I don't envy the job of the umpires or referees, but if we have technology in place to get the call right, let's do it at all costs. Oh, Bo breaking oh, Bo tackles, Jackson. breaking hearts, the nine yard line. Uh, yeah, Rockets. That wasn't that wasn't a Decroft stick right there. A, a little stop and go from BG fan. <laughs> that was. I, was I, I would give it an F Croft. Is it, greater than F? Uh, second and one. Bo Jackson in the backfield for BG. Up by or excuse me, tie game, but minute three to go. Looking to to take the lead back after going up early in this game. And Bo Jackson, boy, one yard. You got to pick up a yard. And at the ball. I'm very surprised that joke is not going with an enforcer. I mean, you're facing Bo Jackson. That is surprising. I, I mean, we've seen him field two enforcers against Bo Jackson in the past. It's probably the fact that BG fam doesn't have bruiser on him right now. So he's like, all right, well, I'll just deal with regular bow. I'm not going to go ahead and use abilities to counter the bruiser. Whereas maybe if he goes in and looks at BG fam's archive or, you know, scouts his roster and he sees that he's got a bruiser, I bet dollars to donuts that we see Pat Tillman on the field right now. Second, 21 for BG fam, 25 seconds to go in the first half. And he didn't drop back to pass with Rogers waiting, looking. Oh, nice little sit route in the middle. What a beautiful route combo. Kittle sitting there, you knew with the post route over the top that you were gonna have to make a choice to follow that post route. The minute he abandoned it, he hits Kittle, sets up a third and seven. I'm sitting here doing the math in my head right now. If I'm trying to outsmart joke, it's 12 second runoff for no huddle. I would not be surprised to see BG fam <sighs> run an off tackle right here. Yeah. Try to get out of bounds or lay down and spike the ball and then take three. Third down and seven for BG fam. Slaying I think it's a run box. call. Oh, he's trying to give himself more room. He wants Joke to accept this penalty. Uh, he did he, he, back at the 18 yard line. Okay, so, okay, well, he didn't trust his right. offense right there. There was enough time. I mean, chances are that off tackle to the short side is not going to take six seconds. You know, huddle, 12 <laughs> seconds run off. You spike it with two or one left, you kick your three. And, and I see a lot of people in the chat talking about the, the, the pass interference replays. They're saying, well, you know, this is about overturning egregious stuff like what happened in New Orleans. It's not about the ticky-tack stuff. But here's the thing. That's like saying, like, we're not going to overturn – all the all the fumbles. If it was close to not being a fumble, we'll let it go. Like if it's there to overturn pass interference, if it's pass interference, you can't sit there and be like, "Well, that was pass interference, but it wasn't bad pass interference." We'll let it go. Right. If that makes like right. like for example, if you watched the game last night, Golden Tate absolutely got interfered with. Jonathan Jones not only held him on the route, but the ball got there a full second after Jonathan Jones makes contact and plows into. Golden Tate, and they didn't know. Right. There was like, legal contact and pass interference on that play. And holding. There was like three penalties. Yeah. Every penalty for a DB against a wide receiver was done by Jones on that play, and they didn't call it. Like, it, this just feels like a, they brought it as a joke and try to find something with Jackson. Okay. 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 Well, that's what Lamar does. Take it down to the one and no oh, time left. No. He doesn't get into the end zone. He doesn't even get to kick a field goal. The second time we have seen the clock run out, the timeout furiously trying to be taken, but nothing happens. Joke's going to get the ball back, but certainly could have had a tie ball game. I watched it back on the stream. It looked close. Like I think, I think it was the right play. I think it hit double zero. I really do. I know Joke's going to be upset. Uh, I mean, let's call it what it is. If he doesn't win this game, we'll we'll hear about it on Twitter afterwards. But uh, uh, yeah, I think that the clock hit zero on that play. That's a terrible break for Joke. I mean, I'm not going to deny that whatsoever. It looked like he had the touchdown. It really did. But uh, that's rough. We'll see if it ends up costing him the game. Uh, did you see Pat McAfee went on Twitter today and called for the firing of Al Riveron? He, he tagged, uh, <laughs> for the, he for tagged the brand. Uh, Adele. Yeah, it's for the brand. <laughs> yeah, it's for the brand. It was, it was, uh, just, it was, I, that's just my, I, I just think like it, it just, this just feels like a, they brought it in 
because of what happened in New Orleans, but nobody was really happy about it. Like they were like, well, I guess we have to because people will be mad if we don't, instead of them genuinely wanting to fix a problem. And that's just that's just how it comes off to me as a grant with a catch and grants an open space. A little swerve move to get by the user. Ramsey makes the tackle, but a big gain from Joke down to the 27 yard line. I'm not gonna lie though, right now, as I watch this game, Joke's not winning. He's down 10 to 7. But when BG fan is on offense, it looks like he's really struggling. And right now you just watch Joke and it just feels like it's a matter of time. Yeah. I this feels like a game that when it's all said and done, we're gonna see Joke end up. It, it, it just feels like a 21-10 type of game by the time it's said and done. My man D Croft in the chat. What is going on, D Croft? Hope all is well. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate all you guys hanging out with us for Friday Night Football number 36. This our other semifinal. The winner of this game takes on Rage for that thousand dollars out of the Rocket Mortgage prize pool. You're not gonna want to miss that. Uh our, yeah, by the way, that Deion Sanders was claimed, but we got two more to give away. One we're gonna give away during the final, one we're gonna give away in our Kahuna giveaway, which we will let you know how that goes. Oh, what a rollout! What a dot from Lamar. He finds Brown back of the end zone. Joke on top. That's the score that he needed right there to get the lead. Now the collar tightens even more. BG Fam's offense was really, really working to move with a lead. Now you're going to see him trying to press, try to get this lead back. This is where things can snowball. I just said it a second ago. I think that Joke is primed to uh, take full control of this game right here. We'll see what BG Fam has in his arsenal for this defense. Lava Mass 2 says my phone's on 6%. Plug it in. Plug it in. You don't want to miss the final of Friday Night Football number 36. It has been a great night of action as the handoff to Bo up in the middle. Picks up five, 10 carries, 119. That's a cool 11.9 yards per carry. That's math from Nick. You're welcome. Yeah, good job on that, Nick. Um, that's, that's what eight <laughs> years of college gets you. <laughs> 14 to 10, joke on top. He's up by four. More math. You're welcome. Let's start this segment. We saw Donnie Moore, the beautiful mind of Donnie Moore during the MCS stuff. I want simple math with Nick. Hi, 14 to 10, four point lead. You're welcome. Third down and six has not used that fullback empty alignment at all. I'm not really empty, but motioned him out to, to give a different look. It's been a while since he's done that. I think he needs to mix it up. He's not living well with the three route combos. You see he's manned up the tight end, so that's not going to happen. Uh, the Scarecrow asks, does anyone ever win those Twitter giveaways? Are they picked the same night? Yes and yes. Looking right side. Over the top, oh, almost picked off by Joe. Didn't get the feet in bounds, but I think you're right, Zan. It sort of feels like it's just been like one of those Joe clearly outmatching BG fam right now. BG fam probably not playing as confidently as he wants to. And it just seems like it just wait a little bit, fight through some of the stuff. You know, he's BG fam's going to get some touchdowns, but at the end of the day, if you wait long enough, Joe's going to get his time. He's up by four. And now with a fourth and six, an opportunity to get off the field. Yeah, right here, sending everyone. I like this call after dropping the coverage on the previous down. Um, I don't think he's going to go with a max protect here. I would not be surprised to see that right outside backer get to BG Fam here in the clutch. Here we go, fourth and six. Cooper split out wide right. Here comes the pressure. Oh, uh, it doesn't get there. It's picked up nicely. He has a man standing. That's Amari oh, Cooper, but it steals out of bounds. bounds. <laughs> Turnover he on downs. He backwards to go out of um, bounds. His foot stepped backwards, and the plant leg cost BG Fam. That was a great check down right there. Hey, I mean, there was a break for joke right before half. That's a bad break for BG Fam. Let's call it what it is. We're even on that call. Yeah. Now first and 10 for joke up by four minute 59 to go in the third quarter. Jackson, nowhere to go. Good defense up the middle. How about that? The plant foot. Yeah. And, and again, you always talk about Madden gives Madden takes away a uh, ball. Don't lie. Whatever you want to say joke with that trip up at the end of the half could have been in the end zone Madden giving a little bit back with that plant foot out of bounds. The King in the chat, probably watch a BG stream, says BG's raging right now. I've seen BG when he rages, it snowballs. Don't be surprised if Joke takes full control right now. Uh, Lamar we'll stop outside. And go. Oh, that's so nasty with Lamar. 13 carries, 176, and a touchdown. And he's at the 23-yard line looking to extend this lead. 
And you mentioned it earlier when you're playing a game where it just feels like one guy, even though they're losing is in full control of the game. If you're the guy who somehow by the grace of God winning, keep the clock uh -oh. running. He uh -oh. didn't do that. Speaking of running, there's Grant running into the end zone. Joke extends it to a two score lead. I said 21, 10. Here we are a little bit earlier than I thought, but, um, my guess is that Joke's going to play for a stop and then run some clock. So that, that score might hold. Then I'm going to say see a pick this, six. Zan, this, is, this is my Zan moment of the day. Because I, I know, Zan, you, you love to, to look in the chat at maybe a comment and, and call it out. I'm not going to call out who said it. But I've seen it a couple times already. Uh, people in the chat saying, well, run, running the same play isn't impressive. Here's my argument. If it's that easy, why don't you do it? Because I'll notice a lot of the guys in the chat, they're not – Winning Friday Night Footballs. They're not at the MCS. If it's that easy, wouldn't everyone be able to do it? I got I got one for you, Nick. Peyton Manning in his heyday with the with the Colts. That was a 12 I, or 13 I thought you were going to say Broncos for a second. I was like, oh, God. With the Broncos, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah with the heyday. Colts. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, uh, you know, Tom Moore, Howard Mudd, you know, those guys. Um, it, it was a 13 play offense. Inside zone, outside zone, levels, China, drive. Sure. You know, base, same 13 plays dressed up out of different formations. That's what Madden players do. Furthermore, Bill Belichick once ran the same play like eight times in a row against the Titans up the field. Same exact play call from the same exact formation. No Madden player, especially at a competitive level, is in the business of babysitting their opponent's feelings. If, they, if you can't stop it, if you're drowning, a competitive Madden player is throwing water on you, period. Yeah, They're not worried about chat, what you think. Way. Fourth quarter. Yeah, and again, if you want to, if you want to come in the chat, if you want to sit there and say the same play, I don't find that entertaining. That's well within your right. That's up to you. I find it entertaining because I can see some of the different adjustments. I, I'm interested to see how these guys' minds work. But again, it's not for everyone, and I don't. In no way do I think everyone has to be entertained by the same thing. But if you want to sit there and come in and say it's easy, if it was easy, then everyone would do it, and you wouldn't see. I mean, at the end of the day. There's a reason why these guys are multi-time club champions. There's a reason why these some of these guys have multiple belts. If it was that easy, wouldn't everyone have it? Very good point. Very good point. And, and you do see it in competitive. You see the competitive Madden style trickle down into play now. And that works at, at a play now level. You can run the same thing over and over and over and over and over against a casual player. But again, I'm not trying to throw shade because I didn't see who said it in the chat. Maybe are you just... Is it, in self, is it a self-indictment that you're a casual player and you haven't put in the legwork to learn how to stop these things? Because very clearly, if Joke is in here winning these tournaments every week, he knows how to stop these things. Yeah. That's, that's, fun that's is winning and winning is fun. Yeah. I mean, again, to each their own. I, I appreciate all you guys hanging out with us, supporting us, but uh, that's just that's you know that's just my opinion on it. If it was easy, then uh, you know, uh, then then I think everyone would do it. Um, but. Uh, right now, joke on top, twenty-one to ten. BG fam, third and sixteen after that sack on second down. And we, uh, and, I mean, I'm not saying it either because I'm not trying to go in on anybody. That's not what I'm here to do. Is go in on anybody. The honest truth is, is, is more or less that uh, this is yeah, the that, way football I love is that, played. But before you say, I love when you see throws like that and it goes bullet pass inaccurate, and I go, yeah, no, of course. Derp, it was an accurate. Of course it was. <laughs> that play that I just ran on BG Fam, um, or that BG Fam just ran, uh, if you guys go dig on my Twitter, uh, you'll find a video of me throwing that exact dot over the top for a one-play score against BG Fam in a ladder game. Uh, so that was 100% 100 stolen from me. So uh, you're welcome, BG Fam, even though you got a dice roll inaccurate. Jackson. <laughs> I, I threw that play, by the way, with like 10 seconds left for the win. Oh, against what BG a fam. jump by joke. <coughs> Champ Bailey. Actually, yeah, this one. Uh, BG it, fam about it, to turn into GG fam. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about to be GG fam in here. Uh, it's It felt that way in the middle of the second quarter to me. It just kind of felt like it was a matter of time. And again, if y'all, again, it, it, I see people saying, you know, I just don't find that entertaining. I don't want to play that way. Cool. I mean, again, that's the great part about Madden. Play Madden how you want to play. I, I don't think any one way is right or wrong. That's the joy of the game of Madden is there are people who play it competitively. There are people who just play it uh, casually at home. There are people who play it there in leagues. Uh, the great part about Madden is I don't think any right way, any one way is right or wrong. I just think we as a community need to 
be more accepting as opposed to uh uh as opposed to, to ripping everybody else for how they play. By the way, Sketchy's back says, Can you turn the game audio on? Uh I, I it depends on the streamer. If they've got their own mic on or they don't have game audio, we can't play it. So um we are just we're just restreaming what they have. So uh, but that's just I just think I think we as a community need to be better in terms of you know, not trying to rip everybody because these guys play it like this and you play it differently at home. Both are fine and both are perfectly valid. Somebody in there said I'm salty about uh, him stealing my play. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> BG fam is a, is a good friend. I, I have zero angst against BG fam. Uh, hey, if it works, run it. That's ultimately what, that's what we're talking about here is we have another walk-in touchdown for Lamar and it's out of control. That should be a tap out, I am guess. Uh, Sean um, in the chat, by the way, here's the tap out. He does ask before we go to a break before the championship game. He asks, what's the difference between cloud flats and soft